A few hours before the 1,000 seats will be filled and 570 days after his last live show. You excited? But, uh, well, I'm more than excited. You've I... played here when it was the G Max. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I played here. Yeah, yeah, I've had some mad nights in, yeah, over the years. Yeah. Since his last show, Damon Albarn has produced his third opera, finished a new solo album, and learned to drive. But now, live music is back, though not on the scale envisaged before the unlock was delayed by a month. It's so going to it. be very different, though, because of because we're not past Freedom Day yet. Well, we, we were at Wembley. Why is it okay for sixty thousand people to go to Wembley? And let's let's face it, it's not just sixty thousand. It's, it's like the whole country was not socially distancing. I wasn't. Nobody was. My my point is, cert certain things are more important than others. And sometimes I think the lines are blurred, no pun intended, between, between the, those things. And I think we just need to be a bit more defined. The arts are important. They're essential to our mental health, to our spiritual health. And, you know, we need to treat them as seriously as we do sport. And we don't in this country, not at the moment. That's how it feels. If, if not how it feels, that's how it is. Damon Albarn's two-night stint is part of Manchester International Festival. And I see clearly two paths. For all the obvious reasons, there aren't so many of the internationally renowned artists debuting work here who've flown in this time around. But their work is here, in the city and also online. Despite all the many challenges they faced. Damon Albarn, please don't get pinged. That has happened to some festival staff, yeah, but despite yeah, everything, the artistic well. director insists yeah, so calling well. everything off so, yeah. was never an option. The sector really needs it. Artists, technicians, freelancers, production people, they all needed work. So for us, it was really important to you know, help kickstart things again for people. For me, it was the writing was on the wall when pubs opened before schools, really in the sense of, 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 of that populist route to returning to normal. An observation, he insists, not a criticism, but in assessing the priorities of the unlock and how his industry is fared, his words feel as careful and deliberate as the social commentary of his lyrics. It cannot be denied that the Conservatives have, uh, have less empathy than maybe they should have for the arts. You know, it just seemed, it doesn't seem to be as important. Look what's happening in schools. Look at the way our, our art classes, music classes are being sidelined for, for more digital based uh, education. It's so important to keep the arts vibrant, you know?